Welcome back guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to enable TLSS4 or TLA4 in Pre 2017. The guide will work on any PC with an RTX GPU. I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. In order to enable TLSS, I'll be using Luma mod for the game. This mod is developed by Bumbo Energe, available on Nexus mods for free. You just need to have a free Nexus mods account in order to download the mod. This game benefits a lot from TLA. It improves the game's image stability. Pre exhibits very ugly texture shimmering with the in game SMA setting. Luma mod includes tons of other features. All of them are highlighted here. Added HDR support to the game. My monitor is not HDR compatible, so I won't be using it. Improved the quality of dynamic shadow. Added a more modern ambient occlusion solution, GTAO. Improved screen space reflections. Added DLA and DLSS super resolution support. Now you can use OptiScaler mod to replace TLSS upscaler with FSR3 upscaler. This is for users who don't have an RTX GPU. Both DLSS and FSR3 upscalers work natively in DirectX 11 mode, unlike Intel XCSS upscaler. Only Intel's ARC based GPUs can run XCSS subscalar natively in DirectX 11 mode. Improved post processing effects, improved high resolution support, improved high frame rate support by unlocking the frame rate beyond 144, improved auto exposure logic, improved swatch chain flip model, more responsive for variable refresh rate. We need to use reshade with add on support in order to install the mod. I'll show you the complete setup process. First, just download this mod from Nexus Mods. Just go to the file section. Click on manual download under the latest version of the mod V2A at the time of recording this video. Click on download. Click on slow download. Luma mod comes with an older version of TLSS subscaler version 3.8. I'll manually update it to the latest version that is 310.3.0 DLSS transformer model. You can download this version from Tech Power Ups website. Click on download here. Click on any of these servers, the download will start. Download Reshade with add-on support from Reshade's website. I'll give its link in the description. And just click on this green bar, Download Reshade 6.5.1 with full add-on support. I'll be using an older version of OptiScaler mod as the latest nightly build of OptiScaler was not able to detect Luma Mod's DLSS upscaler. OptiScaler version 0.7, preview 66, available on OptiScaler's GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. This game uses DirectX 11, so we cannot use FSR frame generation. Scroll down until you find the asset section. Expand it. Click on the .7z link here. I'll be using OptiScaler mod to enable DLSS auto exposure setting and change the render preset of the upscaler 2K to activate the transformer model of DLSS 4. We'll be verifying the upscaler's details using DLSS debug overlay. To activate this overlay, I'll be executing this registry code provided by Emos. Copy the lines. Create a new text file anyway on your PC. Name it anything you want. I'll just name it as overlay. Change the extension from .txt to .reg. Hit enter. Yes. Select the file right click open with notepad. Paste the lines here. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. This will enable the DLSS debug overlay if you want to disable it. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close and run this registry file. I'll just revert the change as I want to enable the DLSS debug overlay. Open. Click on yes. Ok. Now before installing Luma mod, I'll just highlight the in-game texture shimmering issue produced by SMA anti-lazing solution. Video settings, resolution, full HD, display mode, portal as window, vSync off. I have enabled vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Advanced setting, maxed out all of the settings. Anti-lazing, FXA, SMA, one time, one TX, two TX. Select this option. Adaptive resolution, disable. Yeah, we are in. Just observe the guard railing in front of me and just move towards the railing. Its textures are shimmering, very ugly shimmering effect is produced here. And this is the game running at full HD resolution. 
oh my god look at this thing hanging from the ceiling its edges the textures are shimmering again see buildings frames they are also exhibiting this shimmering effect it's very disappointing okay Good now morning, i'll Charles. install luma mod just open the mods archive file copy all of the files and folders present inside this archive file need to paste them in the games install directory select the game in your steam library right click manage click on browse local files paste everything here replace if you are playing the game on windows it's recommended to delete one file just open binaries folder daniel folder x64 folder release folder delete this dll file d3d compiler underscore 47 don't delete it if you are playing the game on linux the mod comes with tlss subscalar version 3.8.10 i'll manually update it to the latest one open dlss subscalers archive file that you downloaded earlier copy this dll file nvngx underscore dlss open the games install directory open binaries folder daniel folder x64 folder release folder replace the existing upscaler dll file with the latest one and that's it now i'll install reshade with add-on support and just run reshade setup this prompt will pop up this build of reshade is intended for single player games only okay from this list select pray search for it there it is next select this option microsoft directx 10 11 12 next select the effects you want to install i'll stick with the default ones next select add-ons to install default next finish that's it now i'll install optiscaler mod just open the mods archive file copy these two files nvngx.ini and nvngx.tll open the games install directory open binaries folder daniel folder x64 folder release folder paste them here just change the name of nvngx.tll file to winmm.tll everything has been installed we are ready to run the game my monitor supports variable refresh rate so i'll enable the settings for it right click anywhere on the desktop click on display settings click on graphics click on advanced graphics settings from here make sure variable refresh rate is enabled i'll enable vsync form and video control panel click on manage 3d settings click on program settings from the drop down bar select pray scroll down to the end enable vsync from here click on setup gsync enable the following settings enable gsync gsync compatible enable for full screen mode and enable settings for the selected display model i'll also enable gsync compatible indicator this step is optional click on display here and check this setting gsync compatible indicator we are ready to run the game we are in reshades menu prompt popped up at the top of the display just press the home keyboard key two menus will pop up the smaller menu is for luma mod increase its size here you go reshades fps counter i'll just disable it click on skip tutorial here click on settings scroll down to the end uncheck the settings show fps yeah, it's gone back to the luma mod make sure dlss super resolution is enabled from here display mode i am using sdr if your monitor supports hdr switch to hdr from here the mod makes the game run in hdr mode even when targeting sdr perspective correction setting disabled enabling this setting will reduce the field of view and the in-game sharpness this setting is meant to make the game screen projection more natural as if our display was a window to that place seen directly through our eyes it basically makes the corners look a bit curved it's completely up to you if you want to use it or not hdr post process quality high luma you can switch to medium again completely up to you i'll stick with high luma advanced settings tab stick with the default settings change the values from here for example ssr quality 0 corresponds to vanilla 1 corresponds to high set to 0 hit enter just like that 
I'll revert the change. We are done here. From the in-game settings, just set anti-aliasing to TA. You'll see this message DLSS compatible. This should activate DLSS upscaler. Apply. Rest of the settings are left as they are. I've disabled the in-game HUD to show you the DLSS debug overlay. HUD can be disabled from the gameplay settings. Toggle HUD off. Yeah, we are in. It's the same section. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner version of the upscaler 310.3.0. This means DLSS upscaler is working. Render preset used this F, so it's not a transformer model. Base resolution full HD upscale to full HD resolution. This is DLA. DLSS auto expose setting is off. This setting helps in reducing the ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the texture shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Now just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Yeah, its colors will look washed out. This is due to Luma mod making the game run in HDR mode even when targeting SDR. Just enable this setting auto exposure. Now OptiScaler mod is working. Upscaler used this FSR 2.2.1. FSR 3.x will change the upscaler to FSR 3.1.2. So this is for people with non-RTX GPUs, not impressed with the image quality. Texture shimmering effect can be seen around the guard railing. Sharpness level increased compared to the in-game SMA anti-lasing solution. Open OptiScaler menu, from this drop down bar select DLSS, click on apply here. Yeah, we need to change the render preset. Okay, click on the drop down bar next to DLA preset and select preset G. Check this setting render presets override. Click on apply changes. Here yeah, render preset change to K. This will activate the transformer model of DLSS4. Auto export setting is also on. Now just click on save INI. This way mod settings won't get reset after restarting the game. Now observe the guard railing. I'll just move towards it. It's looking so clean. The texture shimmering effect is gone. This is amazing. Morning, DLA a for you. All personnel must complete monthly physicals during their stay aboard Talos 1. Dr. See, not occurring here. As quick and painless as possible. The building frames, they are also not exhibiting that ugly texture shimmering effect which we were seeing with the endgame SMA solution. Image quality is looking so clean. This is amazing. All thanks to Luma Mod and OptiScaler. Okay, now I'll show you how to use TLSS Upscaler instead of DLA. You need to get to your office. I've updated. Open the endgame video settings. Go to the advanced settings tab. Scroll down to the end. From here, just enable adaptive resolution setting on. Now, just set the adaptive resolution FPS target to 240. Max it out. Set adaptive resolution FPS lower tolerance and upper tolerance values to 50. Now, just set adaptive resolution minimum scale value to 0 0.66, 67. This value corresponds to DLSS Upscaler's quality preset. Click on Apply. Just set the max FPS value to anything less than 240. I'll just set it to 200. Back to the game. Now check out the DLSS debug overlay. Yeah, the base resolution dropped to around 1288 by 728 pixels. Render preset changed to E. Okay, need to change it to K in order to activate the transformer model of TLSS4, open OptiScaler menu, click on the drop down bar next to quality preset. Just select preset G, click on apply changes here. Here you go, render preset change to K, click on save INI, close. So this is how you use TLSS4 transformer model in Prey using Luma mod and OptiScaler. If you don't have an RTX GPU, you can simply use FSR upscaler. The mod even adds support for HDR. 
includes many improvements for the in-game post-processing effects, improves high frame rate support by unlocking the frame rate beyond 144 and tons of other improvements. Before ending the video, I'll just show you how to disable the DLSS debug overlay. Just need to edit the overlay.reg file that we created earlier. Select the file, right click, open with notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Select the file, right click, open. Click on yes. Okay. That's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.